And so that would be how you do a construction site survey. So if I want to fly Observing the complexities of drone operation is just one of a dozen activities these high school girls enjoy as part of a unique program at Louisiana State University. We are the only program in Louisiana that houses a young women residential camp for students to engage in the field of engineering. Terika Jamison is the assistant recruiting manager for LSU's College of Engineering. She's also director of its summer program called Excite, the exploration camp inspiring tomorrow's engineers. The goal of Excite is to really educate students, young women, into the field of engineering. We have 11 degree majors within our College of Engineering at LSU. Students have the opportunity to tour the campus, stay in a residential dorm, participate in professional development opportunities, as well as engage in conversation and experiment with some of our professors and staff. The camp is in its seventh year at LSU and allows 9th through 11th grade girls to participate in a week of hands-on engineering activities. The hope is to encourage enrollment in one of the university's science, technology, engineering, and math or STEM degree programs. U.S. labor statistics show that while women make up 47 percent of the country's total workforce, they hold less than 28 percent of STEM jobs. Adam Melvin teaches Excite's chemical engineering session. So traditionally, engineering has been dominated by males, uh, mostly Caucasian males. And so programs like Excite are wonderful because they are purposely designed to increase diversity in engineering. We want to bring in people from traditionally underrepresented minorities, especially females. For junior Lilia DeVille, peer pressure is a strong deterrent to girls who want to enter a science career. If you're interested in that, people, they like to pick on you and they like to, you know, you're a nerd, you're not, you're just lame. Nobody wants to be friends with you. If you get good grades, it's like, you don't, you don't do that. This is high school. You should be having a good time and partying. For minority women who hold fewer than 10 percent of science and engineering jobs, lack of knowledge about the fields may be the culprit. Derek Rivera's is LSU's vice provost for diversity. When we look at underrepresented minorities, there are tons of, uh, of studies that have shown that just an exposure to the options uh, will make a difference. And many times they don't even know that they, our careers, for instance, uh, nuclear engineering or, or electrical engineering or mechanical, they don't even conceive of those as options. Excite campers get a taste of 11 engineering fields, including petrochemical, biological, electrical and mechanical. For ninth grader Kylie Hankton McCurry, the program's been an eye opener. This experience has made me realize that there's more to science. Like there's so many levels to it. Like it's fun now. They've ma they've made me see that this is something that I could do for the rest of my life, engineering. Thanks to the camp, Kylie's now debating a career in industrial engineering or construction management, but she enjoyed the computer science simulation the most. It was a model of a car, and we got to get in it, and we got to test it, and it was so fun. Some of us couldn't drive. I could drive, but some of us couldn't drive, so that made it even more fun. Tenth grader Darielle Mitchell liked Excite's hands-on aspect. I like the part when we, like, we get to like touch and know and see and try new things. Darielle's family was uprooted by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. I had to go to a new school in Atlanta, it's like different places I've never been, so it's like, I had to adapt to, so it was kind of weird. I had to get over it. After attending three different schools and surviving a house fire, Darielle returned with her family to Louisiana to pursue her passion for a college degree. I wanted to be successful in my life, and if that means going to college to be successful, then that's what I have to do. Because of the camp, Darielle has decided to work as a biological engineer. Rivera says dreams like Darielle's won't happen unless students are engaged early on. That kind of goal will never happen if you don't receive a college degree, and that college degree won't happen if you don't receive a high school degree. That high school degree won't happen if you don't buckle down and study your biology. Corporate sponsors like Floor, one of the world's largest engineering companies, see the value of helping to keep students like Darielle on track towards a college degree. Pam Jackson, an LSU graduate, now works for Floor and attends the camp as a mentor. The importance of 
STEM careers is going to be exemplified during the 21st century and the ability to promote graduates into STEM professions really is going to lead to um, future innovators, future problem solvers, and critical thinkers. The girls' problem-solving skills were on display during the week as teams designed robots for an underwater rescue and recovery competition. On the camp's final day, the event delivered lots of drama and submerged suspense. But ultimately, no real losers. As Lilia notes, the entire Excite experience has strengthened her interest in science even more. Now I know it may make me lame now, but down the road, I'm gonna have a stable job, I'm gonna be loving what I do, and I'm gonna make enough money to support my family.